Okay, welcome to uh, Kendo, it's not Kendo Guide, Kendo Coach, uh, Sunday night in East, Eastern Standard Time. And today we are going to have a guest who made a Kendo app. So let's welcome to this great guy here. Hey there, hero. Hi, <laughs> how's it going? Doing pretty good. How are you tonight? I'm okay. Good to have you. Good to have you now. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, made a review video of the right. app. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we've been uh, uh, chatting a little bit and going mm -hmm. you know, by emailing and stuff. So we kind of know each other. But other people, the viewer today, don't really know about you. So why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? All right. So hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Happy to be here with Hiro tonight. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, my name is Laurent. I'm a software developer, actually. I, I develop iPhone apps for a living. And uh, a couple months back, I've had the idea kind of out of the blue after, you know, some stuff that happened because of the pandemic. And maybe we'll talk about it a little bit later. Mm -hmm. I decided to build a Kendo app to help do practice and training at home. So, yeah. That is great. So you, I didn't, I mean, of course, that, that you know, the app itself is, I, I'm very impressed. So I was, wow, man. And so I really liked your app. So that's why you are here today. And can you tell, well, I kind of use it a little bit, but right. you know, I like, I like, you know, what I like is probably a little bit about your app, what your app can do. Mm -hmm. So probably I don't really know. What, no, everything. You know, everything. So right. uh, can you tell me what your app can really do? Right. So basically the idea I had with this whole project was to build something to encourage people to build a habit, you know, of training at home and make it maybe more fun or more, you know, like I said, more motivating, something to look forward to and, you know, build a, a habit out of so that they can do it maybe every day and, you know, get better because of it. Right. Especially like, you know, outside of Japan, most places, people can't do kendo every day of their life, right? They have to practice a little bit at home if they want to, to do it every day. So, you know, what I did is build this simple app that lets you give you, or simple, you know, fairly simple for the user at <laughs> least, <laughs> maybe not so much on my side, but <laughs> the user is pretty straightforward. Um, it's basically just a simple app that lets you give yourself a target for a number of suburi that you're going to do every day. So by right. default, the app uses you know, 100, just so it's not too much, doesn't seem insurmountable. And you, know, you still get like a couple good minutes of, of training and practice every day doing it. And the cool thing beyond that is that mm -hmm. by using the phone's camera, what you can do is you just you know, plop your phone on the desk or whatever, point the camera at you, and then start recording with the app. And it's going right. to count the number of repetitions, number of strikes or swings that you do completely automatically. So yeah, as you're training, you don't need to count like, you know, one, two, three, ten, whatever, to see how many you've done to make sure you don't do too many so you don't hurt yourself or whatever. The app mm -hmm. takes care of all of that for you. And then... You know, on top of all of that, there's, you know, a bunch of other things like, uh, you know, working with the review that Hiro did earlier, added a bunch of features, you know, so you can record yourself and you can go back to that training mm -hmm. um, later and, you know, a bunch of other features. So, like, you know, there, there's that main thing. I think that's what hero likes the most about it is the fact that you don't have to count anymore right? yeah i really hate counting <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, but you I know really wanted to yeah but like beyond that I, I didn't want it to be just some way to avoid you know counting because you know like i said i want to make something that can be like fun or entertaining maybe a little bit so it builds that habit right so mm -hmm. one of the things that's being done to achieve that is usually is obviously having the, that target you know every day so you come back and your your target has reset if you want to fill you know that target again that goal again you have to go again right 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 that's really yeah it's good, good great motivation too you know yeah, yeah exactly and right. and by the fact that it's automated you actually have to go out and 
practice, you know? Right. You can't skip it. If you want those things to be filled, you have to actually, you know, go set the time aside and, and, and practice. Right. And usually uh, what I want to focus on Subaru is, you know, the form, right? right? Form and then trying to correct something. Yeah. And then count at the same time is mm -hmm. a really complicated task. Right. <laughs> You know, working on footwork and then go one, two, and then you just you forget accounting at this, mm -hmm. uh, some point and then just focus on what you have to do. Right. And then, yeah, that's again, that's you know, you have purpose to train. Okay, I'm going to work, uh, work on my form or like my shoulder, my footwork, whatever. Right. And at the same time, you really want to know how, how much you actually did. Mm -hmm. So, how much you did correctly mm -hmm. if, if probably i should, should probably have to mention that correctly you right. have to do it a lot mm -hmm. instead of doing wrong stuff so i think your app made it you know made my dream come true <laughs> <laughs> actually i don't have to count yeah right yeah. and like on and, top of that i think one of the things that i liked about it is uh, there's a, like as a beginner myself and that's a lot of other beginners, one of the pitfalls that can happen is you might want to do too much and train too much. Mm. And I think some people might look at the app as, a, you know, something to you know, push themselves and give them bigger and bigger goals each time and, you know, go harder and train more and whatever. But the other sense also kind of helps me. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things that was kind of driving that idea. The, the idea behind the app is that I can set a goal of 100 and stop after 100 before so I don't overtrain, so I don't hurt myself, so I can have all my focus and energy be spent well during like quality practice and quality. Right, training, quality right? is very important, especially when you are a um, you know, big boy, you know. Uh, here, Kuruma Baka. I do story every day and count it myself, but never realize how an automatic counter helps keep you motivated. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, comment, Kuruma Baka. Yeah, that's really, really, yeah. Yeah. True. And then, right. And then on top of that, I also built a couple, and I'm still in the process of building with the uh, feedback from you know, users and people that reach out to me after trying the app or have, right. after having ideas. I built a couple, a couple other features. Um, you know, one that drives that idea of making it like a, a practice that you do every day was adding statistics to the app cool. so you can see like how much you do every week, how often you reach your goals and things like that. And then, oh, okay. right? So you can, you know, get an idea. Like if you're slacking and you never, you know, do it, the app kind of tells you, you need, you need to step up your game, you know? Just, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And then we can start doing that, like, uh, you know, club in club tournament, well, not, not tournament, but club contest or something. We're using that. Hey, look, <laughs> I do it 100% of the time. I never yeah. miss a day. Look at me, right? Yeah, yeah, you go. Club goals, you know, and, uh, you know, this week, let's do 500 Subaru uh, at home, mm -hmm. you know, and then next week, you just, you know, compare whatever you know yeah who's managed yes. to do it yeah actually. Com compete yeah. each other yeah. that's cool oh sure Hi. oh there you go this is the everyone is asking right the the big <laughs> million dollar question right it is exactly yeah so I, i'm not um not gonna pan around to my room or my you know living room um but i'm uh one guy in a tiny apartment mm -hmm. building this thing um in my free time that is <laughs> right so the the answer i want to give is yes i want to build an enjoy app as soon as i possibly can um the reality of it is it's a lot a lot a lot of work to build and maintain just oh, okay. one project right on the ios app store so when I feel like the iOS version of the app is in a nice state, I've, you know, got it to do what I most want it to do. It has all the features that I really want. And like most people are content with what's on there and don't keep telling me you should add this, you should add this, you should add this, right? <laughs> they'll keep uh, telling you, man. I'm right. Sure they'll keep. 
you should i want people to keep telling me this but when i feel like the requests they have are maybe a little bit more you know a bit too specific or whatever i'll <laughs> i'll try to tackle an android version yeah. but you know I, I i can't promise that it's going to come soon it really depends on how much free time i have to do that stuff right, because right. it's a lot of work to build an app like this yeah um and it, you know here's the the kicker on top of that right i use an iphone <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit of a boring answer to give right but i use an iphone and first and foremost i want to build this thing so that i can use it for myself and i have fun right. with it right um you know, yeah not i i'd like to share it to the most people possible but right I'm right also a bit selfish in that i want to build a thing <laughs> that i can use for myself and enjoy right oh let's let's ask that. i know a lot of people uh use android as well so mm -hmm. if you're using android guys uh share this video <laughs> share this video and tell him that you guys you have to you, <laughs> you have to make android you know spread the word right. spread the word and then you know make this uh, app popular and he will make a lot of money, so he don't doesn't have to make uh, other apps. Just focus on this app. Yeah. Ta-da! I mean, obviously, Android. that's Android. that's the the dream right there. If that happens, exactly. then you'll have a. Right. I'll even, you know, I'll spend all my time working on an Android version. But uh, yeah, I mean, and it's something that I get asked a lot. It's yeah, and it's obvious because, like, I don't know, maybe half of people use, maybe more than half the people use right. an Android I, phone, right? Depending yeah. on where you are in the world, but probably yeah. I, I really don't really. I've never. I haven't seen. I think black. Huh? Some other people probably use Android, but most of people around me uses iPhone. So I don't. I never noticed. You know, this many people use Android. Yeah, and like yeah. I said. I think it kind of depends where in the world what's more popular and things like right, that. So. Right. I don't know if you mentioned this, but can you share this like your result on social media as well from the app? I don't. Uh, know. You you could share the you recording share? of a, you know, w w when you record your screen to see, you know, how your your practice or training went. You could share mm -hmm. that video. Um, it's definitely one of the main things I want to add. To the project is some social aspect to it so right, right. either by you know, sharing your statistics or how much you've done today or by maybe challenging your friends or things like that mm -hmm. or even before then it's something that i haven't talked about but you can also build workouts inside the app oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah you know i'm i don't know i'm gonna do like 20 joge sabuti to start and then i'm gonna do 20 men strikes and then 40 forward and back men right whatever oh, okay you can build that list of um of exercises and then have it follow it along with the app right and one of the right. things i really want to add is the ability to share those workouts with other people so that you can send it to your friend and be like yeah. hey i did that workout that was great it helped me fix this thing you know, or like I did a high intensity workout or something like that. And it, oh, yeah, yeah. It that's was amazing, great. Yeah. you know, send that. Try to do that. See if you can beat me and like, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, go yeah. longer than I did or something. But oh, cool, the ability cool. to share those things is definitely one that uh, I'm aiming to add in the fairly near future. Right. Cool. And then, you know, Kendo Guide or Kendo Coach will probably give you some custom story workouts. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe exclusive uh yeah reveal <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so oh here we go this is from kuruma baka from to show pick up an old ipod touch to run this app that's an idea too yeah, yeah you could try it. it it does work on an ipad i know a lot of people that might have android phones um might still have an ipad because it's a little bit more common to have um so, you know, that's something you can try for sure. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So I don't know if, did you talk about your Kindle history? And... No. See, that's the thing, right? And right. I, I talked to you about that a little bit before. And that's mm. that, that was, a, you know, a, a bit of a question in my mind before coming on here, actually. 
something mm-hmm. I asked Blake when Blake reached out to me. I was like, you know, should I should I be on the, the on the show because I don't actually have any real kendo experience. I haven't. Nice. <laughs> I've never been to a club. I've never, you know, none of that, right? And the reason behind that is, unfortunately, the pandemic. Um, yeah. St- I don't know, I'm trying to do like a short story out of that, but you know, I, I've a couple months ago, I've figured out that I was, you know, maybe kind of a bit out of shape, you know, from the pandemic, staying inside, not doing much. Mm-hmm. I tried to find something to to do, like some sport or exercise to get back into. And one of the things that I kind of realized really quickly, and that's that was a bit of a weird moment for me, is that when you become an adult, something happens at like 18 or something, but you're not allowed to try to improve in sports anymore. You do them for fun when you're an adult. Right. So if you join like a league or something, you're never going to have somebody that like coaches you or that, you know, shares their knowledge with you you're never going to have like hard training sessions you're going to go play soccer for fun for an hour with Mm -hmm. you're not going to run exercises or whatever like that and like i was looking at those things to do and i was that was something that was missing from 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 those activities that i really wanted so you kind of see where i'm going with this but i found kendo kind of by accident i was like Mm -hmm. man this is perfect it's exactly what i want no matter when you start, no matter when, like how old you are, when you pick it up, mm-hmm. you know, however long you've done it, you're still always like trying to improve. It's like the guiding principle or ideas that you're trying to improve, like right. tiny, tiny details forever until, you know, <laughs> yeah, right. That's the kind of that's, the yeah, idea. That's kind of, sounds like kind of yeah. right, <laughs> or at least it's the mindset that you have to have, yeah. I think, to be able to enjoy it. Right. So I, I really got into that idea. So I tried to join a club, but really complicated because of the pandemic. Right. There's either no room or it's complicated to get beginners in because, you know, it's, it's not as much room. They can't like have them just come in to watch or try for one time because it's a bigger commitment because of the pandemic mm-hmm. and everything. So I started, you know, looking online. I was like, man, I'm so excited about this thing. I, I really want to keep that excitement going for as long as possible so that when the you know, the club opens and I can actually join one and learn for real, I'll still be as excited as I was when I learned about it. Right. Right. So I started looking maybe through your videos or other people's videos about how you could maybe pick it up or at least, you know, build a small foundation at home or at least, you know, give it a try. If anything, like build some coordination for, or get a feel for Kendo, like, you know, just in my living room. Right. Right. And so as I was kind of building, you know, trying to, to figure out how to do that, I learned that you could practice at home, you could do Saburi at home. And I was like, I'm going to try to, you know, build a habit out of it right away so that, you know, like I said, I'm still as excited about it when I get a chance to go to a club and, mm-hmm. you know, learn from a coach. So, you know, that's kind of what happened. I was like, I was trying to do that training at home or, you know, trying to learn the basics at home, just doing movement and stuff like that. And that's when I kind of had the idea for the app that was like, maybe I can make that more fun for myself and more, right. you know, interesting until I can you know, join an actual club and go there. So, yeah, I mean, it might sound completely crazy, but I, I don't actually have any kind of experience. I'm looking really forward to, you know, getting into things. And like, as soon as the mm-hmm. pandemic allows it, you know, but that's what came out of it, that app. So I guess that's a good thing in some, in a way. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I, I kind of, you know, I, I was really surprised that you had, you didn't really learn anything, right? <laughs> no. And when I saw you during Saburi, right, you know, in, in your video, and I thought you had some experience. See, yeah. you, you do a hundred each day. You have good, <laughs> good teachers, good videos to learn from from you, and then you can learn the basics. Maybe <laughs> it's I, not I was, a replacement, but <laughs> it's really good. So I was I was thinking, you know, this especially I probably told you uh, about this line. These lines, these lines are brilliant. Right. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, this is my review there. You're more than welcome to watch this. Uh, 
and they had a mirror. Oh, and I, I, I kind of suggested that I know this recording function and you know mirror camera view. So uh, when you actually, this is kind of uh, right hand forward and let it's a normal view, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it was kind of flipped. It was like this, left hand forward, I think it was. Right. Yeah, left hand forward. So, mm -hmm. then, and then the amazing stuff was as soon as I sent you this this <laughs> review, and then you just did it right away. Right. And you go, oh man, <laughs> it's good. I don't know how you know. I don't know how to take your stuff. So, I don't know how difficult or easy uh, it is to apply these suggestions. But oh man, you are so quick. I mean, that thing in particular wasn't that hard to add. Oh, really? um, I mean, it took a bit of work, but it's not that hard to add, but it's kind of the philosophy or the idea I'm trying to do as much as possible with this app. If somebody comes to me with a request for something that's not, you know, impossible for me to do, and I see mm -hmm. the, the, the usefulness in it, I'll try to do it as soon as possible, you know, so that they can enjoy it and they can, you know, keep giving me more ideas, you know, right, that's, right. It's the, you know, that's one of the things I did like on the, when I started sharing about it when I released the app. It was like, if, if you can reach out to me, find me somewhere on social media and I'll give you like a, a free month of like the all the premium features. You know? Oh, did you guys hear that? <laughs> you know, like if you can like go on Instagram, send me a message or something and, oh, like, you or on my YouTube, whatever. Because I want people to actually use it so that they can give me right. better ideas of things to add to it. YouTube. Uh... Your YouTube, hang on. I have to search it. <laughs> What's your YouTube address, actually? I think if you just type uh, Kendo, Kendo Subaru, training, Kendo Subaru app or Kendo training app, I think you'll find it. Oh, there you go. Oh, there. this is Kendo Subaru channel. There you go. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna post this here. Boom. So what's what does it look like? Kindle Subaru. Uh, how do I share it? I've been sharing it. I should know that. Uh, okay. So this is what it looks like. Is that right? Oh, it's not there. There we go. This is this is his Kendo Subri. Okay, so you guys can check his video out. And uh, I think I had an app. And if you is this no, is this, which one? this one? And if you go down here, you can uh, see download on the iOS App Store. So you click on that, you can actually go to App Store, right? Right. So yeah, so there you go. Uh, you can download it. And so this app, another thing that the auto count is great. And the other stuff that I love about is lines. Progress. Did I say that already? So I really want, wanted to see my knee. Is my knee straight or not? How my knee goes forward and, you know, Knee, knee issue. I had a knee issue. Well, mm -hmm. that's I've been working on, and the line helps a lot. You know, if knee bends, the line bends. <laughs> so it's easy to see to check myself. And go, oh man, this app is not only counting. You know, just for counting, it's actually right. checking yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is. Oh, to me, it's like awesome. Just uh, I have, I don't know you guys, but you guys, I have this, this thing. <laughs> so I put my phone here in the morning and I just videotape myself and check myself. And yeah, and then start doing Suburi. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, I don't want to repeat wrong stuff over and over. I just check myself first quickly and then okay this is this is good and mm -hmm. then do Suburi. 
so you can repeat the good stuff nice. instead of bad stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like if you can use this app like that, you know, uh, I don't maybe if you if I say self coaching is probably too much, but of yeah. course, yeah, you can you can actually see what you are doing and what you want to if you know what you want to do, bam, you right. can use this app right away and then you can benefit out of it. What I try to describe it as is I. I try to give the users all the tools that they might need mm -hmm. to either correct things themselves or, you know, take in what they've learned from, you know, their coaches or their sensei or right. whatever and apply it and see if they're applying it correctly once they're, you know, actually by themselves and practicing by themselves. I'm not out there trying to make an app that tells you if you're doing things right or yeah. wrong. That's <laughs> not up to me. That's not up to a computer to decide either. You know, I, I'm just trying to give the tools and, you know, the the ways to analyze maybe to make it easier right, so that right. they can do it themselves correctly after. Right. Hang on, hang on. Where the line works with... Oh, show. You are very sharp. That's, this was what we were talking about before the show. It's not perfect, but... Uh, especially if your feet are out of frame or if your hakama uh, hides your feet completely, if it's a little bit long. Um, but it, it will give you a, like a rough idea, but it's not going to be as precise as if you have, uh, have you know, normal pants or shorts on or something. Like that. Right. It's still going to count um, just as well because the arms, you know, the, the, the arm sleeves are not as, um, flowy or baggy as you know the hakama is very like it's not near your legs at all so it's hard the arms are still drawn pretty pretty dead on for the most part right right so uh the uh show i don't know why you asked that question but and i my uh, i asked him about it because i wanted to uh, videotape my student Mm -hmm. students actually students so i wanted to show their feet movement and in mm -hmm. the lines really help so i wanted to know if that works or not and i will try that at the dojo and i can probably report you back if it works or not you know, right uh if it works how much it worked for me with full bogo oh you have done it nice right. i know who you are but i'm not going to tell all the <laughs> Real name, Kuruma Bakai. That's correct. Okay. Right. So it, it will work um, in, in the sense that counting will still work. Um, but the lines, like I said, the lines of your legs are usually a bit off. It's like an educated guess on where your legs wow. are because obviously the camera can't actually see them. Right? Yeah. Do I, so let's, let's, uh, oh, by the way, guys. Uh, I paid full amount, okay? So I am... <laughs> he didn't give me any discount. I, I didn't tried. want it. <laughs> I tried. He offered. Yeah, I tried. He offered. <laughs> he offered. No, I said, no, no, no. You did a really great job uh, for this app. You you know, he needs, he deserved to get paid. So I paid full amount. I have a, a one-year subscription, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, this is very useful, you know? Uh, so if... You guys can help him uh, using this using this app helps you and subscribing is help him. So it's a win win man win win. So you know I'm not doing this because he gave me a lot of free stuff or anything. <laughs> so I don't have any to give. <laughs> All right, you gave us a real good tool to improve our Kindle, so that's brilliant. You know, thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have, we have to wrap up. And do we have, do you, do you have any plans for update? Tons. 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 There yeah. Go. There's a lot of new stuff that I want to add. Um, like I said, the driving factor is what users are actually going to be asking for. If you reach out to me with features and I see that there's a couple people that say, yeah, I, I want that. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, I'll, I'll make sure to put it at the top of the list of things to add, but there's a lot more to come. There's a lot of more improvement for things to be more fluid and more you know, easy to use. Um, 
it's not going to be maybe super useful. There's translations coming for other languages. If you're not a native English speaker, there's right. plenty on my plate still. So yes, keep an eye out. I try to post updates on Instagram and YouTube when I have new features that I'm testing out. So you can give your feedback there too. There you go. There you go. Kuruma Baka, the extra function from <laughs> is worth it. Plus, it's good karma to support the app. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kuruma Baka. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, uh, Kuruma Baka, how did you get the female voice for the workout? It's the it's voice. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. Right. So um, I was talking about the workouts, right, that you can build. You can have a synthesized voice tell you, you know, Hajime and whatever. Oh. And it will tell you what your next exercise is. So like 20 shoman subiri or something, right? So you don't even have to look at the phone because you, you were like, I want to be able to hide the counter to record myself. So I was like, well, if you hide the counter, you don't know what your next exercise is. So the phone now oh. tells you so you don't have to look at the phone. But to answer the question, it's just uh, the default synthesized voice that you can use on iPhones. Not a good question. It's actually a computer reading numbers and uh, and Japanese. How do you get the female voice for it? It has female voice? Yeah, it's... Uh, oh. <laughs> right? If you learn more. Right? <laughs> I got to keep making videos to explain more the, the features right, right, so everybody right. knows about them. Because right? I, uh, I got what I wanted, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I turn off the counter and I record myself. And you're done. And you're good myself. to go. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, oh, oh, I did this many uh, Saburi. Probably I should do more, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it's cool, a default cool, thing. Cool. It's, not, uh, it's not a recording. It's just a computer reading. Ah, yeah. okay. Now, there you go. There you go. So, hey, guys. Uh, we have to go and thank you very much for coming guys and then you know, give him feedback and you know you know you know productive feedback that makes app better and when app gets better we get more benefit out of it so you know let's help each other and also uh, there are a lot of android people users so Android people doesn't. The more interest there is, the more likely you'll have an Android version. Yeah. Fast. So make sure you just spread words, and then Android Android people just go, "Oh yeah, one, 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 two. <laughs> so now he has to hear your, you know, screaming. You know, I want that, <laughs> and then he that's motivation. People need motivation, you know. So yeah, let's. Uh, you know, uh, let's give it up to Lauren to, just to make, you know, make this app, made this app for us. And Thank you. this was really, really brilliant idea. And oh, show says thanks again. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. You're absolutely welcome. It was fun to work on. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, let's get in touch and make sure, guys, uh, you know where he, uh, he is. You know his YouTube and probably. Do you have Facebook uh, as well? I don't have a Facebook for the app. For the app? No, I do not. No, you maybe don't. I should, maybe ah. I should make one. <laughs> yeah, so your know, people can uh, give you some ideas. But YouTube, YouTube links. I yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah. I am. This is the link, but <laughs> it's a bunch of. Uh, uh alphabets so just just type um uh kendo uh what's the word uh kendo suburi kendo suburi channel okay so kendo suburi if you type kendo suburi i think uh, kendo suburi app in youtube and you probably you will get his uh channel all this show at Oh, another great session. Oh, thank you, Kuruma Baka. Thank you very much. All right, so thank you, Roland, for uh, being the show with me. And unfortunately, Blake wasn't here today, but I'm sure he appreciate your effort as well. Thank you for having me. That was thank, really thank fun. Thank you very much. And 
we'll we'll rely on you for a Kindle development. In the future. Okay, <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> great, great. Okay, so thank you guys for coming, and I will see you next week. Thank you.